Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Saturday, family. Happy Saturday or whatever day it is where you are. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. I hope your weekend is going great thus far. I just wanted to come really quickly and give you a word uh, that God has been pressing on my heart and wanted me to speak about today. Uh, as always, I told you to take the word back to God in prayer. Test the spirit always. Just go back to God for confirmation and revelation on the word. Any word I give you or anyone give you, always take that word back to God in prayer. As always, I always tell you on this channel and will continue to tell you that it is very important to have your own relationship with God, okay? That way, what I tell you or anyone else is confirmation of what God has already spoke to you about. It's very important to have and develop your own relationship with God so that you can hear from God yourself, okay? God desires that and I encourage it. All right, so it's very, very important. Um, I just wanted to come today, guys. God was speaking a lot about spiritual warfare, um, kicking up a lot, um, more so, for, more so for His people. God is saying there's about to be. Um, a lot of spiritual warfare and he's telling you you know in advance we should always be prepared you know we always have to fight the enemy you know every day just being vigilant to his devices but you really have to put on the full armor of god right now god is saying a whole lot of you know spiritual warfare is about to kick up and we're about to see and experience a whole lot of things and it's going to be demonic but god is saying that you know this is not the time to fear this is also not the time to give up on your faith god did not give us the spirit of fear but he gave us the spirit of love peace and a sound mind so god is asking that you know he's our strength he's our anchor he helps us to per persevere and that is how we get our strength by what I always stress is having your own relationship with God where you're in his presence, you know, constantly. You have a relationship, not religion, but an intimate relationship with God. And you're allowing God to speak to you, but also keep God is our covering. You know, we, we always plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves. God is always covering us with the blood of Jesus, you know. But you want to make sure that you're staying vigilant of the enemy's devices. God is saying more spiritual warfare is going to be kicking up and we're going to see many more spiritual attacks than we ever seen. Guys, this is, you know, we're going coming down to the last days and, you know, this is not a doom and gloom. God is coming to you, letting you know as he prepares the people in the Bible, he sends out, you know, his people now in this time time and day to come out, to go out into the world to spread the gospel but also warn you and prepare you for the things to come okay so god is saying that um you know it's going to be more spiritual warfare we're going to be going through um you know a lot of attack a lot of attacks that the enemy is going to be trying to do so you're going to have to stay vigilant you're going to have to stay prayed up you're going to have to stay in the presence of god you're going to have to fast you're going to have to make sure that you're in your word because just like prayer gives you strength with that relationship with god being in your word strengthens you it gives you wisdom, but it strengthens you and allow God to speak through you. God, the word is God. God is the word. So you want to, you know, stay in God's word and allow God to, you know, to speak through, I mean, to speak to you and to strengthen you, you know, and also that is where you find your peace. You find your peace. You find your, 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 you know, you find your strength to continue to persevere through the word and allow the Holy Spirit to just work through you. But you're going to have to, um, yourself and, my, and me, we're going to have to really stay vigilant to what God, you know, 
to what God is trying to show us. And that means staying vigilant to the enemy, staying vigilant to what the enemy is trying to do. You don't want him to, um, I'm sorry guys, somebody came and parked right next to me. You don't want him to, um, you don't want him to try to knock you off course, try to knock you off of what God is telling you. I also, you know, have been telling you this is a season of, of blessings and increase, but the enemy knows that too. So he's going to be right there as well, trying to knock you off course. So right now, God was speaking about, um, about spiritual warfare, but he also was speaking about witchcraft. Guys, not everybody, and you know if this word is only for you. God was saying some people are experiencing where there are people, you know, doing witchcraft on you. You know, whether that's curse words, uh, whether that's, you know, things at the, at the, at an altar, whatever it may be, God is saying some people are you may be experiencing things in your life because some that you someone is trying to do witchcraft. Now, we're not going to fear witchcraft. You know, we are covered by the blood, but it can How can I put it? It can affect you if you're not vigilant to it. If you're not if you're unknowing and you let it you're not aware of what's being done to you. But if you have that relationship with God, he's letting you know what to pray against. He's speaking to you and he's making you aware of everything. Now, we're not we're not fearing witchcraft now. We no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But God kept speaking that some people are being affected by witchcraft. So guys, this is a time that I that I continue to stay, say Stay in the presence of God. This is not just about a relationship. This is about an intimate relationship with God that he desires from you. And that also to have a prayer life, to have a life that's a powerful pr prayer life, to have, you know, to be covered in, you know, uh, Iron sharpens iron to have the right people around you, uh, you know, to have the right people that can cover you, the right people that can pray with you. But make sure that it is the right people. It is people who God has said, you know, that this is this is a relationship that he's brought to you. OK, you still got to be vigilant. You still got to pay attention. But he was speaking about witchcraft. And we all know, guys, witchcraft is not fairy tale. It's real. <laughs> it's real real and right now it's kicking up more than ever and you know people can do witchcraft and speak curse words just out of envy out of jealousy out of pride out of arrogance and you have to pray against and stay prayed up and in every day you know, declare and decree things broken off of your life, every curse word, every day, every plan and assignment of the enemy, every day. So guys, this is the time to pray just every day. Cover yourself every day, every day and rebuke every demonic attack and curse word over your life every day because you never know you know we live in a fallen world and not everybody who's family friends or associates or whatever have your best interests at heart and not everybody is bad either but you have to make sure that you are covered. And if you have that relationship with God, then God speaks to you and let you know what to pray against. But you should make sure that you're trying to stay in prayer and just go, you know, rebuke everything every day. You know, rebuke every demonic dream. Re rebuke any covenants that has been made knowingly or unknowingly. You know, in your dreams, in your bloodline, rebuke those things. But God kept speaking to me about spiritual warfare kicking up and about witchcraft being done on some people. So, guys, this is a time really to stay vigilant, to stay alert to the devices of the enemy. He's busy. He know his time is almost up. And... And the victory is already won. We know that as children of God, the victory is already won. But the enemy is going to keep, especially after, and God say, after these spiritual attacks are going to 
you know, be so heavy on his people and you have to be ready for that. And that doesn't mean, you know, I always say, yeah, you know, we have good, but you got to remember even with good, there is some things, some bad things that the enemy tries to bring even in our winning season. But remember, no weapon formed against us shall prosper and we're not going to fear it. God did not give us the spirit of fear. So we're going to stand in faith and we're going to continue to be in, in the presence of God and in, in his word so that he can strengthen us, so that he can help us persevere and, and just continue to ask for that peace, that peace that surpasses all understanding to get through those things. And remember, you know, he led me to, because he kept saying about the armor, you know, even in my personal life, he kept telling me, put on the, the whole armor of God. And if you go to, uh, he led me to Ephesians 6, 13, it says, therefore, put on every piece of God, God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will be, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from, from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield, uh, the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on the salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So guys, stay in God's presence. Stay in God's word. Uh, continue to be in, you know, in, in fasting and praying for your strength. Fasting strengthens you and it brings you even closer to God to hear his voice. And like I said, just be mindful of what you share. Be mindful of, you know, what you tell people, what you share with people, because God was speaking that some of you and you, you know, again, you know who you are. This is not for everybody, but some people are being attacked by witchcraft. He kept saying it and he's, he kept speaking it more and more last night. And we need to be, you know, vigilant of the enemy's devices every day. So pay attention to God's word. He also uh, led me to I First Peter five, First Peter five eight. It says, "Stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour." Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering as you are. And guys, I'm reading from the NLT. I'm sorry I didn't say that, the NLT version. But guys, stay vigilant. We have the power. God has given us the power you know, he's given us the power to tread over every scorpion, every serpent. He's given us the power. We have the power. So don't allow fear. Don't allow witchcraft. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We are covered by the blood of the lamb every day. Continue to stay covered by the blood. Continue to, to, to you know, build a hedge of protection over you and your family daily. But God was really, and he's really, really, really been speaking a lot about spiritual warfare, kicking up for his people and also witchcraft. So I wanted to come and give you that word today. Continue to stay in your word. Continue to draw your strength from your word and just allow God to speak, okay? Remove the distractions and the noise so that you can hear God and ask God in your prayers to just help you to see things that, you know, that you may not see to give you the spiritual eyes, his spiritual eyes, so that you can see things and people, you know, their true, their true desires, their true, you know, intentions against you and to just tell you if it's anything that you need to pray um that you need to pray for okay or pray against so guys that is the word today um you know i i 
I I hate to, to deliver, you know, these words sometimes, but I have to be obedient to it. And this is real, you know, just like God is real and, and you know, and, and God, you know, is so good and loving. We have an adversary who is not good, who is not loving, and he's here to kill, steal, and destroy. So we have to stay vigilant to that, okay? And, um, you know, and I want to say a prayer. He spoke about, um, he spoke about uh, the spirit of death. So I want to uh, say just a quick prayer against the spirit of death, okay, over ourselves and over our families really quickly, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, our Father in heaven, we come to you today, God. We rebuke and we bind every demonic spirit, every demonic attack, every demonic assignment over our lives, over our destiny. We rebuke it right now and renounce it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we come against and rebuke and renounce the spirit of death. We rebuke it right now, Lord, and send it back to the pits of hell where it belongs. We also, God, rebuke and renounce the spirit of premature death right now in the name of Jesus. God, we send it back to the pits of hell where it belongs. God, we come against it, God. We know where you dwell, God. The enemy cannot touch us, oh God. God, we ask that you cover us continuously with, the, with your blood. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you also build a hedge of protection around us that the enemy cannot puncture through. God, we will not fear, but we will have faith and trust you and trust you God that you will surround us God and you will protect us we pray that you send your warring your warring angels God dispatch them from heaven to war against the kingdom of darkness on our behalf God in the name of Jesus God we just pray against every demonic assignment and plan over our lives and our families and we cover them right now in the blood Lord we give you honor we give you praise and we give you absolute glory and the matchless and marvelous marvelous name of God we pray in Jesus name we pray amen thank you thank you God thank you father so guys that is the word today I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of dark in here I thought I parked in a spot um but the lighting is kind of off but it's all good um the audio works so it's all good but guys i just wanted to come really quickly god has been pressing uh, on my heart to deliver that word okay so guys i hope you guys continue to have a great weekend remember we stand with god we walk with god so therefore we walk in faith and not in fear okay keep being the light because you are the light keep shining you know, just shining and being the light that you are because you are the light. Keep being kind and loving towards one another. Let's continue to have compassion towards each other, okay? And um, don't conform to this world or the, or the agendas of it, all right? Let's keep loving and being kind and do not do not allow them to divide us. But let's continue to walk in unity and continue to pray for each other, okay? So, guys, I will see you guys next time. God willing, know that God loves you unconditionally. And I love you, okay? And I hope you guys have a good weekend, all right? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.